This is my workspace. Now don't get me wrong, I love my workspace, but there's one major flaw. The one place that I spend the most amount of time in in my apartment is completely devoid of life. And it's time we change that. So let's get to the drawing board. So I came up with some ideas at the drawing board. I know for a fact we're gonna have plants, obviously that's a given. As part of a challenge, I'm gonna try to incorporate a waterfall. So let's get to it. Okay, so we have our starting ingredients here. We have this small little pot that has been glazed, so it should be able to trap water in. There was a hole in the bottom, but I jammed it with silicone, so hopefully that works. We also have this base here that I found at my local gardening store, which I kind of like, and uh, this pot will kind of just sit in there. I think it looks pretty cool. We also have some marble rock, a small water pump, and some sponge to put over the pump to help keep debris such as sand and aqua soil out of the intake. So let's figure out where we're going. Okay, change of plans. This uh, this marble rock is not doing us any favors, and I did just discover some dragonstone in my cabinet, as you just saw me playing around with. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna scrap the marble rock, and we're just gonna fill it up with gravel, and then do a hardscape that's sticking out of the pot with dragonstone. So let's get to it. Okay, so we sort of have some direction now. I'm gonna like start gluing some pieces together and hopefully that'll make my life easier. I went ahead and I glued everything together. I did also cut off the excess pump tubing. And uh, before we move on to the next step, let's run some water through it so we don't get ahead of ourselves. Just make sure that it works. Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. So we went ahead and we plugged this in and it's working beautifully. It's working exactly how I intended it to work. Now, when I plugged in this pump, it shot water across the kitchen. and The flow of the water was way too strong, but this was an easy fix. I basically just shoved filter foam into the tubing here and that sort of disrupted the flow of the water to make it trickle more than having it just like ripping out, right? And to sort of add on the finishing touches, we're gonna hide the tubing now. And um, yeah, I think it looks awesome. It looks sort of like a rocky cliff that has water leaking out of the side of it. So we're just gonna drain this thing and glue on the final touches and we should be pretty much done with the hardscape here. <laughs> It is now the next day. The silicone and the glue has all cured and everything is for the most part locked in. Now that being said, I did have an incident last night and um, part of the facade broke off. Uh, so I had to redesign some of it. The mishaps here will be covered up with java moss. So I think we can still run with it. With all that out of the way, let's start planting. Right, we are done with that. Um, we have replaced a lot of the gravel with aqua soil in the back so that way we can plant our harbor palm here. As you can see here, I have placed some rocks here, right here and here, and I'm doing that to block the aqua soil from coming down into the spillage area. So yeah, because if I didn't put these rocks here, that aqua soil would eventually make its way down and then just get everywhere. And I want to keep it in the back. Alright, 
this fountain is looking really cool. I'm really happy with the way it's turning out, but we're not done yet. We still have a lot to do. This right here is Java Moss that I ripped out of a branch from one of my aquariums, and we are going to place it in the cracks where the water is running through. Java Moss is a great way to hide all of the glue that you made along the way when you're making the hardscapes, so yeah, it'll kind of bring the look together and it'll make things look more natural as well. We are extremely close to being done with this project. This right here is sphagnum moss, and we're gonna go ahead and jam this in all the big cracks and crevices. The reason why we're using sphagnum moss is because it's extremely beneficial in an open environment like this where it can dry out faster than let's say a jar terrarium. Um, we can put it in these cracks here, and this sphagnum moss will help retain moisture, and it also acts as a substrate essentially. final touches we're gonna go ahead and plant this in the foreground let me know in the comments if you know what this plant is I actually don't know the actual name for it 